Hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and I'm here today to do my June TBR. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage! So for this month, I will be participating in the Whatever-a-thon and this readathon, it's a month-long readathon and it is hosted by Maddie over at Book Browsing Blog and I will leave a link down below to her channel with all the information. She's been doing a lot of videos that surround this readathon so if you want to participate because it's month-long, you have time even though this video is coming out later than June 1st. Basically for this readathon, there is a bunch of prompts for the month but you don't have to follow along with them. I will, I'll be trying to fit in as much books as possible as I can for the readathon and I will get into those a bit later. In addition to that, the readathon has a bunch of teams and I am part of the Dreams and Drama Queens. This is the team hosted by Maddie herself and Ashley over at A Frolic Through Fiction. So all the points that I will be accumulating in the month will go towards that team. So like I said, I will leave a link down below to that video if you want to get more information and you can see which team you want to participate for. Get the prompts, get the gist of it. Let's get into the TBR. So what I will do is go through all of the books that I'm planning to read in the month of June, and then I will tell you exactly which prompts they will be going for. Also, in addition to this, I forgot to mention that June is Pride Month. Most of the books on this TBR are really surrounding the LGBTQ plus community. The first book I would like to read in the month of June is The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. This will be a reread for me. I read this book, I think back in 2019, absolutely devoured it, absolutely loved it. And so because I want to continue with this series, I decided to reread it this month, hopefully reading the other books in the series from here on out. So this book takes place in modern day New York City and magic is all but distinct. Those of which who still have this affinity for magic kind of live in the shadows and any magic wielding person who enters New York is caught into this bubble called the Brink and it basically confines them to the island of Manhattan. The main character in this book is a girl named Esta and she is a talented thief who has been trained to steal these magical items from the sinister order that created the brink. Esta has an innate ability to wield time, to control time, so this book takes her back to 1902 where she discovers a more sinister plot going on. Like I said, love this book, can't wait to reread it, I'll probably be listening to it on audio, I'm excited. The next book I would like to read is The Stars and the Blackness Between Them by Junota Petrus and this book follows two teenage girls, one of them named Audrey who is from the port of Spain in Trinidad. Audrey is really heartbroken because she is being sent to live with her dad in America after her mom finds out about her and her secret girlfriend. This takes her to the city of Minneapolis where she meets a girl named Mabel. Mabel is a daydreamer and her dreams are kind of cut short when her father announces that one of his friend's daughters is coming. Mabel falls fast and hard for Audrey and she is determined to help Audrey find her place. So I found out about this book from Jesse over at Bowties and Books and they really praised this book. This is a sapphic romance and I'm really looking forward to reading this. I've heard that it is really heartbreaking so I love that in my contemporary novels and I'm really 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 looking forward to picking this up. The next book I have here is for my non-fiction challenge this year. That book is We Have Always Been Here by Samra Habib. This book follows Samra's life as she is born in Pakistan where she deals with a lot of threats from Islamic extremists. Her family therefore moves to Canada and Samra experiences a whole slew of new problems like bullying, racism, racism, poverty, and an arranged marriage. So this book deals with Samra's exploration of faith, art, love, and queer sexuality, and it is a journey that takes her to the far reaches of the globe to uncover the truth that was within her all along. This is a queer Muslim memoir, and I am very looking forward to picking it up. If you've been watching my TBR every month, I have also been participating in Books and Lala's Buzz Wordathon. This is a year-long readathon where every month there is a buzz word, and you have to kind of read books that surround that word. This month, the word theme is names. So for that, I'm going to be reading Jane Unlimited by Kristen Kishore. Sorry for the brightness of the cover. Jane has lived a mostly ordinary life, but when her aunt Magnolia dies, Jane finds herself with really no direction or purpose in life. One day, an old acquaintance named Kieran asks Jane if she would like to come to this event called Tsurevien. And all Jane knows about this event is her aunt telling her that if she ever gets invited to Tsurevien, she must go. Thus, this embarks Jane on this journey where at the event she is met with five doors where entering one door ultimately decides 
the rest of Jane's path. I heard about this book from Cece over at Problems of a Book Nerd and I am very excited to pick this up. I remember Cece absolutely adoring this when they read it a couple of years ago and so I'm really looking forward to also potentially loving this book. The next book I have here is one from one of my favorite authors. This is Loveless by Alice Oseman. This follows a girl named Georgia who has never been in love, never kissed anyone, never had a crush on anyone but she is fanfic obsessed and she calls herself a romantic so she is sure that she will find someone one day. When Georgia starts university University, she begins to question why romance comes so easily for other people and not for her. With new terms thrown at her like asexual and aromantic, Georgia begins to feel more uncertain about her feelings than she ever has had before. So I'm really looking forward to reading this book. I love Alice Oseman. I have read I think pretty much everything that she has published. I have absolutely adored most of what I've read so very looking forward to picking this one up as well. Then I do have a reading vlog coming out that I want to do this month. I will show you the books and I'll tell you what the books are about. Comment down below if you think you know what this reading vlog is surrounding but I'll get into the books. So the first of which is We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. I have read one Nina LaCour before, didn't really enjoy it so I was a bit apprehensive to pick this book up but I think I will enjoy this more because I tend to like more hard-hitting contemporaries which I think this one is. So Marin hasn't spoken to anyone from her old life since the day she left everything behind. No one knows the truth about those final weeks and the tragedy Marin has tried to outrun. Not even her best friend Mabel. Where she meets a girl named Mabel. Now, months later, alone in an empty dorm for winter break, Marin waits because Mabel is coming to visit and Marin will finally be forced to face everything that's been left unsaid and confront the loneliness that has made home in her heart. That sounds really devastating to me, so obviously itching to pick this one up. Plus, it's short, so perfect for a vlog and a readathon. Really looking forward to it. Next, we have You Must Not Miss by Katrina Leno. I have read one Katrina Leno before and really enjoyed it. I love her lyrical writing and her integration of surrealism within her books, so I really do think that this one will also be a hit for me. So this book follows a girl named Magpie Lewis who is really dealing with a lot. Her dad ruined her life, her sister skipped town and left Magpie by herself. So Magpie retreats to her yellow notebook where she has developed this world called Nier. She imagines Nier so completely, so fully that she writes it into existence right in her own backyard. This sounds amazing. I can't wait to pick this up. Then we have Girls on Fire by Robin Wasserman. Shortly after Halloween in 1991, a high school basketball star is found dead in the woods behind their school. This sends a tremor throughout the town and there are rumors that a satanic cult is kind of surfacing in the region. In wake of this incident, a young girl named Hannah Dexter is befriended by Lacey Champlain and I can only assume that Hannah gets tangled up into whatever is going on with Lacey. After that I have a pretty like classic 2012 YA book. This is Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I have never read anything by Lauren Oliver but I know that she is kind of this author darling who wrote a lot of books that people have read in their youth. So this book follows Samantha Kingston who really has it all. The looks, the popularity, the boyfriend. That is until February 12th where Samantha discovers that it is her last day. There is a catch however. Samantha wakes up the next day exactly the same way as the day before except it is still Friday February 12th. Samantha therefore has to wake up every day in order to solve the mysteries surrounding her passing. I am a bit apprehensive about this book just because I have never read Lauren Oliver before so I don't really know what I'm expecting. I don't really know if there are things that are dated in this book. It does sound really interesting. It does fit the theme of my vlog so we'll see how it goes. And then finally the last book I need to read for that vlog is Blue is the Warmest Color by Julie Moreau. This is a pretty famous graphic novel because it was turned into a movie I think about five years ago but essentially this graphic novel follows a woman named Clementine who seems to have it all. She has a lot of friends, she has a good family and she even has a boyfriend. Unfortunately when she starts to realize that she doesn't feel the same about her boyfriend as he does towards her, she breaks up with him. Her openly gay best friend decides to take her to a gay bar where Clementine becomes fascinated by a blue-haired girl named Emma. This is a really short graphic novel so I don't really want to know more. However through flipping through it I have discovered the most gorgeous art. So I'm really looking forward to picking this one up and seeing how I feel. And then finally, I also have three arcs I would like to get to. I won't go into too many details about them because I did talk about them in my May TBR. I just didn't get to them. So if you would like to know more details about them, you can go click the link up above. But essentially, I have Hope for the Summer by Dahlia Adler, Jelly by Claire Reese, and Apocalypse 7 by Jean Doucette. Now I will get into the 
prompts that these books fit into for the whatever -a thon So the first prompt for whatever -a thon is a cover that reminds you of a pride flag. For this prompt, I will be going for Pull for the Summer by Dahlia Adler because it has the bi colors on it. I will also be including We Are Okay by Nina LaCour because it also has the trans pride flag colors on it. The next book is to reread a comfort read. And for that, I will be going for The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. The next book is a five star prediction. And for that, I'm going with You Must Not Miss by Katrina Leno. Like I said, I really love Katrina Leno's writing style. So I can only see this as being the five star just because I know I could possibly be entranced by her writing. The next prompt is an author's debut. And for that, I will be going for The Stars and the Blackness Between Them by Junata Petrus. The next prompt is Out of Your Comfort Zone. And I think I made it pretty clear that Before I Fall is the one I am most apprehensive about. So it's definitely out of my comfort zone. The next book is a book you hauled in the past year. Honestly, a lot of these could fall under that prompt, but I decided to count We Have Always Been Here by Samra Habib for that. The next prompt is an indie or self-published book. So we have Blue is the Warmest Color by Julie Moreau. Another prompt is POC Representation. So for that, we can count We Have Always Been Here or The Stars and the Blackness Between Them. The next prompt is Poll. So for that, I put a poll on Twitter, which I will insert here. And as you can see, Cool for the Summer by Dahlia Adler won for that. The next prompt is one I am I'm so excited for so the prompt is to fit a tbr game prompt if you don't know one of my friends here on booktube danny over at current chapter does an m&m's tbr every month so i asked her when she was recording her tbr to just record a little prompt for me so that i could fit it into this month's tbr so we'll hopefully have a book here that fits the prompt we'll see maybe i'll add another book let's just go i didn't watch it yet because i wanted to be really surprised hello i was honored to be asked to pick a prompt for Kelsey for one of the readathons that she's participating in June. So let's see what the M&Ms are going to pick for her. So the first M&M for Kelsey's prompt is... Yellow. The second M&M for Kelsey's prompt is... Orange. Oh my god. <laughs> awesome. That should be easy enough. So, Kelsey, you have to pick a book that has LGBTQ plus representation in it. I'm sure you can do it. I'm excited to see what you're going to pick. Yay! Oh my god. So that so many of my books fit this prompt. Wow, she wasn't kidding. She had told me it's an easy prompt. She wasn't kidding. So we know for sure that these three can fit. We also have Loveless by Alice Oseman, and we also have Jane Unlimited by Kristen Kishore. But also these might surprise me. Oh my god, this was perfect for me. Riding in on that high, we have a prompt that I'm not fulfilling, which is Buddy Read. Um, if you would like to Buddy Read any of these books, let me know down below. But I know a lot of people have TBRs and they have their TBRs planned in advance. But if you're one of those people that like to mood read, you want to read one of these books, let me know down below. The next prompt is disability or mental health representation. And for that, I'm going to go with You Must Not Miss by Katrina Leno. The next prompt is Bookish Creators Fave List. So for that, I'm going to go with Loveless by Alice Oseman. This is one of Gabby Reed's favorite books. So I will leave a link down below to her channel as well. Then the next prompt is a cover with your team color. So the Dreams and Drama Queens team color is green. And I know a lot of people have been struggling with this, even the team hosts. Are any of these books... I don't know. This is more blue. Oh, we have a lot of green on before I fall. So there we go. <laughs> then the last prompt is last letter of the previous title is the same as the first letter of this title. So basically what that means is that I have to read these two books back to back. Before I fall ends with an L and Loveless starts with an L. There we go. So I just have to remember to read these books back to back. And that's it. These are all of the books I'm planning to read in June. I'm really, really, really excited for this month just because of the readathon, but also because it's Pride Month. If you have read any of these books and you would like to talk about them, please comment down below what you thought. I also have linked in my description my Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. So if you would like to give me a follow, you can do so with those links. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell if you would like to support my channel. But that's it. This was a really exciting TBR. Very excited for the month. I don't know what else to say. I don't know how to end these things. So I guess I will see you next time. Bye!